tutorial on how to play Most People Are Good by Luke Bryan. We're in standard tuning. We have a capo on our first fret. This is a really good song if you're a beginner because your ring finger and your pinky are going to stay anchored on the third fret on the B and the E string. And these two fingers, your index and your middle ones, are going to be the ones moving around. Alright, so we're going to start out here learning our three chords or four chords we need to know. So we need to know G an E minor 7, a C add 9, and a D chord. So for all of these chords, like I said, those two fingers are going to be anchored there on the 3rd fret of the B and the E strings. For your G, your middle is going to be on the 3rd fret of the low E index on the 2nd fret of the A. That's your G chord. For your E minor, your index is going to go back to the 2nd fret of the D, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A, so that's your E minor 7. For your C add 9, all you do is you slide that middle finger over to the 3rd fret instead of the 2nd fret, it slides over there to the 3rd. And then for your D chord, you can either play it by taking your pinky off and adding your middle finger to the high uh, E string 2nd fret, or you can leave your pinky on there, either way will work. Those are the chords you need to know. So now the tough part is going to be the strumming. So it sounds like this. So you're going to pick your root note and you're going to strum up, down, up. So pick that root note. seven chord. Same strumming pattern and picking pattern. Next you're going to pick the A string and you're going to slide over to your C add nine so your middle finger slides from that second fret to the third fret. And next you're going to go to your D chord so you're going to pick the D string. Okay, so you're going to do that twice in the verse. chord, 1, 2, to the C at 9, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and they do that twice to finish off the first verse, so G, 2, switch to your D, 4, to your C at 9, 2, 3, 4, and then we come back to the chorus, which is very similar to the verse. In fact, it's actually exactly the same in most parts. I'm going to just go ahead and play through it here so you can hear what that sounds like. So we have our G chord for four, two, three, four, to your E minor for four, one, two, three, four, to your C at nine for four, one, two, three, four, to your G for four, Actually, you do your G for two when you come around a second time. Then you go to your D for two, and then you go back to your G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To your C at nine. Two, three, four. To your G for two. To your D. back into the verse. So G, 2, 3, 4, to your E minor 7, to your C at 9, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, G. So it's really that same chord progression of G, E minor 7, 
to your C add 9 to your D. And the tough part is getting that, that um, picking and rhythm down, but just start out nice and slow, pick the root note, up, down, up, and then practice switching chords, root note, up, down, up, and eventually you'll get that pattern down and you'll, you'll teach your hand to do that. And once you get that down, you can start speeding up and it'll sound just like the song. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.